meeting him and kind of encountering his music, has it changed your your approach to, to music? And then, like you say, he, he showed you a different way, of, or not a different way, but he showed you creativity. Right. So has that changed your view yes. on music in a way? Yes, I think... Um, um, it's, it's a bit see. difficult. Yeah. No, 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 no. It, it, it has changed my view of music. And, um, it has. I think his music really has has made me grow as a grow as an artist. Uh, I think his music really made me grow even more as an artist because I am um, um, I have become a lot more certain about okay. what I can do. Right, right. Um, and this makes makes me also challenge myself uh, on many levels and. Um, being very curious to see what is what will be the next step. Mm -hmm. Whenever uh, I meet him, he he also introduces me to other wonderful artists, yeah. and with several other artists, I have also worked together, and it it is like he is causing a ripple effect, okay. and that is also why I call this album the glass effect mm -hmm. because it's really he his music creates other opportunities and those create di new opportunities and, and it's really ongoing um, ongoing process and that makes me really happy because I think this is something that I can spend the rest of my life mm. working on and, and, and building on and it has made me freer as an artist um, I, I also started composing myself experimenting with electronics improvising and so it, it, it really has, yeah, has, has made me a very hap a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> but y you mentioned something very interesting, which is uh, you, s you started composing yourself. Mm, yeah. which you, what do you notice about what you are creating, what, what you are creating? Um, do you notice I, that, oh sorry, yeah, yeah. Do, do you notice that you start um, doing those uh, his kind of techniques is well. Right. He, he, I think he doesn't like the word minimalism. Right, the, right, yeah. The, the rep <laughs> repetitive structures, yeah, like you yeah. say. I think I'm definitely being influenced by mm -hmm. his music when I compose myself. Myself, um, I'm, I'm, I'm still a very intuitive composer, um, and um, I'm trying to also connect the compositions to a really personal level mm. and actually I've always been very jealous about singer-songwriters okay. because uh, they are on stage and they're telling this is uh, the piece I wrote for this occasion and this is what I thought behind it and um, it's, 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 it's wonderful to play other people's music and, and, and I can draw a lot of their, their emotions into my, my personal ones but really going from out myself uh, creating a new piece it, it is really a, a different experience sure. and it, um, uh, it, yeah, it has, has made me grow closer to the instrument but I think also closer to the audience they see more of me. Mm -hmm. and, and something you also mentioned is electronics and then on the album there is uh, a, an interpretation mm. of, of yeah. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, yes. you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and which is called lift up. Yeah. So, so can you take yes. me through that thought process? Yeah. Of yes, how of you course, yes. The way I made the remix of Koyanis Katsi was that I heard the theme of this movie, a very impressive movie from 1982 mm -hmm. about the, the relationship between humans and the world and the nature and how uh, yeah, it really got out of balance actually through, throughout the years. And um, I heard this theme being sung by a very deep male voice and, and there was an organ uh, accompaniment the the voice and mm -hmm. I immediately heard the harp in in this theme so I tried it out at home and so I started with an acoustic uh, transcription of this theme 
But then I, uh, I met sound designer Arthur Antoine, mm. and we were experimenting with electronic sounds. And one day I, I asked him, is it okay if I just improvise on this beautiful theme? And he recorded it. And then uh, we started working more on this. And um, then the, the idea occurred to me that it's, it, 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 this theme can re really make me sad because it is also at the end of the movie when there's a broken shuttle mm. falling out of the sky. And I wanted to make it a li bit, little bit more uplifting. Sure. So I found um, the text of the lift off of the Apollo 13, okay. the one that did make it back. <laughs> uh, and I used those few lines from the lift off in this piece. Uh, and we created uh, really the feeling of going into into the sky sure. in the, and and um, yeah, it was so much fun to make it, uh, and um, it really opened up new possibilities. Mm -hmm. Now I'm making a whole program with Arthur okay. Antoine with animation and okay. electronics, so one leads to the other. Does music for you, and this isn't specifically uh, about Philip Glass's mm -hmm. music, but does music have for you a cinematic quality? Yes, I think that is one of the great things about Philip Glass's music, is that mm -hmm. it um, connects to so many mm. different art forms. Sure. Um, first, his music is, is very visual. When you hear it, you immediately create images with, with this music. Um, he works a lot together with poets, Allen Ginsberg. Mm -hmm. uh, last night at the concert there was an, a, compo uh, a poet from uh, Los Angeles, Jerry mm -hmm. Quickly. Uh, so totally different, but people that, that, that put their words on the music with Phil, Philip Glass and they work together and, and it creates a whole different Mm. Uh, a spectrum and sure. also, um, yeah, the combination with visual, spoken words, that is something that I have been really inspired by. Okay. Um, so I, I, yeah, I'm also uh, uh, working on a project with spoken work at, work okay. at the moment. So y yeah. you're branching out as well? Yeah, yeah, okay. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, well, one thing, because uh, Philip obviously has this huge uh, catalog, uh, catalog mm -hmm. of mu music, how do you select, because you did uh, Visions and the Hours, mm -hmm. uh, well, not Visions, Metamorphosis and the, yeah. the Hours, yeah. how do you arrive at, at the etudes and, and right, how right. do you pick? Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting thought actually, because um, I noticed for myself, it it makes perfect sense what I'm doing uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the way that I have met him five years ago and I, I've kept in, in close contact with him and for me his his work embodies so much that I can keep on going without I think ever getting tired sure. but people might wonder like why, why would you do more of his is it isn't it enough and I think he is uh, really um, uh, maybe so far quite an, uh, 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 an exception mm. because I, am, I, I, I used to be really focused on project and I moved to the other but he c kind of connects everything together mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm definitely not tired of his music. What made me choose the etudes was that um, three years ago I started working on the etudes. I actually played them for him when he was in uh, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. but I felt very premature uh, playing his music. They're mm -hmm. very challenging technically and, and musically. It's, it's also, he really made those etudes to challenge uh, both technical and harmonic structural uh, um, possibilities. Mm -hmm. So um, it was last year in California at his festival where I heard him play his own etudes okay. live. And it came so much to life at that moment that I, I went home and I, I, I got pretty obsessed with these etudes. I, I, I told myself, I, I gotta give it a very big uh, chance to, to, to see how far I can get 
-hmm. And I, uh, I got to 10 etudes out of 20. And um, it, it, it has brought me also to a different level because these etudes are also very different from the pieces I have played from him uh, before. So that really also makes me look forward to keep on going with his music uh, because I, I am very sure that it will also bring me to different places and mm -hmm. different possibilities. Finally then, I'm, I'm not sure if he has listened to the full album mm -hmm. now that it's done, but has he had a reaction or did he tell you something about it? Uh, he hasn't heard the full album yet, but he heard he heard me play his, his music uh, mm -hmm. last week okay. and he was really enthusiastic. He, uh, he, he said that I had really grown as an artist mm -hmm. and that he was really impressed that I uh, could make uh, those etudes fit on the harp. Um. Well, the, because that's, uh, that's an interesting thing. What, what is, maybe, I, I'm not sure if you know, but what is his view on the harp and, and mm. how, how his music sounds on the right, harp? Right, right. He really likes his music being performed on the harp. Okay. Um, no, let me put it differently. Yeah. Um, for for Philip, it was the first time hearing his music on the harp when I performed it mm -hmm. uh, for him, and um, I think he has also um, discovered a new side of his, himself mm. as a, as a composer, hearing his music uh, uh, this way, and he he was really enthusiastic uh, that. To, to see that etudes, which he didn't think were possible on the harp, mm. did work on the harp. Uh, and he, he, he says that the harp is a very difficult instrument mm. for pretty much all composers to compose for. Uh, but he is he's very... Um, he, I think he's, he, he's, he's just very happy that, that mm. I am able to to help him and, and that we can work together and, and and that he can also introduce me to other people. So his, his, his music just keeps on moving mm -hmm. and that, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm, I'm guessing you'll work with him again? Yes, I actually will see him in, um, in a few months okay. again. Then we're playing again at Carnegie okay. Hall. Uh, and I think Laurie Anderson will be there. Uh, but at the same time with Philip, you <laughs> never know for sure okay. until you get there. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thank Thanks. you.